Hi, this is Tammy Hewlett from Swimming in Stamps, and I'm back for the second video for July. So what we're going to start with is the banner that goes on top of this burlap one. So let's go to our punches, and I believe this is under extras. So click on extras and open that, and um, you should be able to find the flag stamp. So bring that over. And it's going to be a lot bigger than what you want. First, we're going to squish it down a little bit. So it's about the same uh, dimensions as the uh, that burlap one. Bring it down a little bit and flatten it so that we get it kind of like the same uh, V formation. If you bring it up, it's going to flatten out the V. If you squish it in, it's going to make it uh, bigger. So you can see the more I push it up, the V is uh, mimicking the uh, size of the one underneath. Okay, I'm pretty close there, so I'm going to start fiddling with it. All right, now what I want to do is crop it. And I want to say that I went maybe about that big. Let's try it and see. That's a little too big, so just kind of keep trying until you get about the right size. Maybe a little bit smaller. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now we're going to fill that with white. And add a drop shadow. Okay, so now what I wanted this to do is actually to have a drop shadow on the top as well. So I am going to copy and paste it in place. So first copy and then paste in place. So it's right on the same, right on top of each other. Then I'm going to select drop shadow and I'm going to move that drop shadow up. So you see if I put my cursor on the drop shadow I can move it around. I'm going to move it up so that you can see it up above. And that makes the banner look like it's poking out. Okay, now let's go back to our stamps, and we're still on Hello Sailor. I'm going to bring over this True North stamp and just size it down and put it on top of the banner and color it blue, Pacific Point. So let's click Color and pick Pacific Point. Okay, now what I want to do is bring my whale over, and I'm also going to color him Pacific Point. So we'll do that first. And I want to position him on these waves about, well, this piece here is a little different than on my original. Um, let's click on this bottom one and try to get it in the right place. I think I must have had it maybe about right there. Let's try that. Yeah, because what I wanted to do was kind of get a little bit of this swirl to go over the whale like he was actually in the water. So now that I've got that back layer highlighted, I'm going to say, again, copy and then paste in place. And that's going to put the whole layer back on the top. Now remember this is a photo box layer. So what I'm going to do is down here on the design center is that I'm going to click photo shape. That turns it into a circle. Now don't make it smaller yet. What we want to do is double click on it and then make it smaller. So I'm going to bring it down and I want to, I'm trying to remember where my whale is. I just kind of want to make a little circle and let's let's do it about right there and see how that works. Because now what I'm going to do is place that over the original 
and make it look like he's swimming through. And you may need to zoom in. Now I've lost where I'm supposed to be here. Yeah, I think that's about placing it right, right there. Now you could, you know, get this really precise and, um, you know, use your fingers, your uh, keyboard to get it exactly right. And then what you want to do is go back over to your layers and let's put our whale, let's drag him down right on top of that original piece of paper. And then we're going to also bring that little circle right above the whale. So now, whoopsie, what happened to that? Oh, something's going on here. Hang on a second. Here we go, right there. We need to put this above the whale. We'll try that. Oh, for heaven's sakes. Okay, there we go. Nope. Okay, my computer. You know what? If your computer starts doing funny things like this, just hit File Save. And a lot of times that'll straighten all the orders out. And then you can go back under here. And we're going to try and bring that one piece up. Okay, so now you can see that it's in front of the whale. And it looks like the whale is swimming through the water. And that's the effect that we wanted. Once you're done with the whole thing, remember to draw a big square over it again and say File, Lock Object. And that way nothing is going to twist or turn when you go to start working on August. Okay, so I hope that teaches you a little trick about how to embed one object in another. It's just a matter of using your layers. And I will see you next month for an August calendar. Thanks a lot.